I'm Kati Horvath from DreamCreate.com. Today, I would like to thank you so much for all your feedback, comments, and questions on our latest time-lapse videos. I thought it would be a very good time to answer some of those questions and share some of the details that are not in those time-lapse videos, like how I prepare my fabrics, how I organize them, how I put them together so that I will have a smooth sewing session. I do know it is nice to experiment with new things, but also it is very nice to have other people's experiences so you don't have to make or do all those old mistakes that someone has already found a resolution for. So in the first section, let me talk about Sue's cushion. As always, with the draw sorting technique, you will need the mirror image of your design. This pattern is very similar to the yin yang mandala in, in the sense that it doesn't have an overall background fabric. So it's just created from many small pieces of fabric. So it is really useful to transfer to the interfacing the right image and the mirror image as well. So that's what I did. I used the right image and marked it with an R to transfer it to the interfacing and then I used the window or a light table to transfer the image to the other side of the interfacing and I marked it with an M. Now you need to be really aware of which side is which, especially at the beginning before you start because on the mirror image side you will have to sew and on the right side you will have to place the fabrics right side facing up. Before we start to sew we need to get organized. As you see all the patches are numbered from 1 to 79 and they create rows so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is a row, and nine to 15 is a row, and 16 to 22, and, and so on. So we are going to follow these rows, and we will prepare our fabrics in rows. My concept of color is that lighter colors are in the middle, and as we go towards the edges, they gradually become darker and darker. And when you choose your fabrics, just make sure that you have enough of contrast between the light and dark. And also make sure that you have an accent color, which for me is probably, you see, that this bright pink color will be, that just pops, that just jumps at you right away. In the pattern, you will find guidance to the colors. And as you see, you don't need proper squares and rectangles, just large enough pieces to cover your patches. Most of the patches are not regular uh, patches either. So you need to get organized. Let's prepare row number one, which is from one to eight. I put it on a piece of paper, one to eight, and I arrange the colors. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and put them together in a pile so that the highest number is at the bottom and the lowest number is on the top. All the fabrics need to be right side facing up. And I just put the number guidance on them and pin them together. So when I start to sew, I will have these piles of fabric marked and put into order so I can really just go ahead and sew them down without thinking, just by the numbers. 
I hope you found this video useful. Please give us a like if you did and subscribe if you would like to get the further updates. Visit our website, see us on Facebook, Instagram. And until next time, thank you for watching. Happy quitting!